I'm going to go over a list of things you have to do to have a good television production. And when you begin a television production, you have to have a plan. And the plan is usually recorded in ha by having a good script or storyboard. Okay, now let's talk about that. A script is basically in television or in film, and I'm just going over this lightly, uh, you can take a piece of paper and you run a line straight down the middle and you have a section on the left and you have a section on the right and usually it could be either way but usually the section on the left will have the script basically what the talent the actors are saying um, it, it's the dialogue that's happening during our our television show and it may not be this may not be applicable to all formats of show like if you're doing live broadcasting of course this you don't need a script you you need a plan about how you're going to make it look and you're going to come up with a style for shooting to accommodate your live show but you don't really have to have a script because everything's happening and you really don't have control over it you're just capturing it but when you're pre-planning a show uh, it could be even a documentary or a comedy or whatever uh, uh, you know any kind of show you want to have a script and the script is basically going to have the dialogue of what the actors are saying or what you expect the actors to say on one side of a piece of paper on the uh, like right or left side on the other side of the piece of paper you're going to have a description that covers what the scenes should look like what you're wanting to shoot what it's going to look like, what the scene is, and you're sort of making the image, the image information is going to be on one side and the spoken information is going to be on the other. You can also have what's called a storyboard, which is a, set, a, a series of images that are formatted in the, the size of your television screen that shows what you want to have each clip or each section of your show look like. You know, you're going to actually make a rough drawing that shows where the actors are or the person that's talking is, what the background looks like. And you're going to visualize in a very simple drawing what the look of the show is going to be from clip to clip or from shot to shot, okay? Once you get the idea and the script and the plan and the storyboard set up as needed, then you're ready to actually go do some shooting. And it's always very important to point out that whatever script style you use or storyboard style you use, you always want to have that all done correctly where you understand it, where everybody understands it, and you can go and you can do your video. You can go ahead and do your film. Whatever you want to do, you want to go into it with a plan of what you're going to do and how it's going to look. And lots of times people grab a camera, they start shooting, and they don't have a plan and it doesn't work very well. You need to have a plan. And then when you go to shoot, you want to allow plenty of time to set up your shots. You want to be sure and get everything set up. You want to prepare your scene. You want to get the background and foreground colors and objects set where you, whatever your scene is, you have it set up to where it's going to look good. You're going to allow plenty of time to do this. You want plenty of time before you shoot to set up for your shot. Okay, lots of times you don't get that luxury, but if you do, if you take time to set your shot and set your people and get the lighting set and everything, it really pays off. <clears throat> Correctly place the center of interest in your shot. It's always good to have your center of interest not up against a wall. Move the, move the object of interest, the person that's speaking, whatever you're shooting, into the foreground and move them away from a wall if possible set them in an area where they're surrounded by objects if needed and make the scene look good correctly place the center of interest in that scene and where it looks good in the and and all the things between the foreground and the background are set up to make the center of interest your focal point when your viewer watches the shot Make sure the talent, if there's a person talking, is dressed correctly with proper makeup and that they're correctly lit. You know, sometimes if you use 
choose soft LED lights with the Shamira. And remember, if you're using a cinematic effect, you want to make sure that your camera's shooting where the focal plane is hitting your center of interest and there the object in focus. And it's always neat to have the background objects out of focus, the foreground objects out of focus, and your center of interest, if it's a person speaking or whatever, in focus while everything else is out of focus. But it's always good to put some lighting in the background, like some accent lights or something, to make them make the background sort of pop. But you're still they're the center of interest if it's the person speaking. Uh, you want to make sure that they're 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 correctly dressed with proper makeup. The set is correctly lit with the Shamira and the focus set up right.